This is Two Minutes in the Olive Garden. Today's text, Ecclesiastes chapter 4, verse 13. Better a poor but wise youth than an old but foolish king who no longer knows how to heed a warning. I just read the NIV. The New Living Translation says, It is better to be a poor but wise youth than an old and foolish king who refuses all advice. Though the New Living Translation puts it this way, many other versions like the English Standard Version, King James, New King James, New American Standard Bible, and several others translate the text just like the NIV, which uses king who no longer, king who no longer. So the phrase who no longer runs through many of these Bible versions. What this implies is that Solomon was trying to point out the character of a certain king who used to listen to advice. His bad character of not listening to warnings did not begin when he first became king. Along the line, somehow, he began to close his ears to good counsel. Who or what is a king without wise people giving him counsel? The text says even a poor youth is better than such a king. Do you remember what happened to Pharaoh? If he had heeded to warnings, Egypt's economy would not have crumpled after they had become the wealthiest nation in the world for centuries. Anytime arrogance sets in to a leader, no matter his or her level of leadership, that leader begins to exhibit foolishness. Whichever leadership position you are privileged to occupy, please, Listen to advice. Whether you are a mother, a father, a caretaker, wherever you find yourself in any form of leadership position, listen to advice. Listen to good counsel. The shalom of Yahweh be upon you.